Alright, I turned my stream on just to record it. We get more bin mods in here. But but uh the Discord's muted. Uh yeah. Oh, you can't see everything on the Discord stream? Alright, let's start from the top. AUSD. Stablecoin. I've been wanting to buy it. It's getting depegged even more. Is that a trend line? Buy now. Next shit coin, BTC. <laughs> Every coin's gonna be looks like shit, don't buy it, short it. Alright, next. Looks like shit, don't buy it. Short it. Alright. Alright, next BTC, looks like shit, don't buy it, short it, <laughs> alright, wait, wait, that was BTC on KuCoin, now BTC on uh, Binance, still looks like shit, don't buy it, short it, next, mm -hmm. BTC hash rate, one day on the glass node, looks like shit, don't buy it, short it, <laughs> next, ETH, <laughs> Alright, BTC. Actually, this is a good time to buy it, actually. I am. Sitting above this trend line right here. Um, and it is kind of consolidating. Still has somewhat bullish structure if you zoom out. We look at volume profile here. Oh my god, what is this volume profile? It's fucking. Odd. I only have 16 defaults. I didn't select that one. Okay. So anytime you trade a, try to trade a range, you draw your volume profile, buy at the bottom of the range, sell at the top of the range, use the POC as support resistance. So a good short would be at this POC. 2072. That's a good short. 2072. The daily pivot here at 272075. It's a great short. Alright. ETH. Looks like shit. Don't buy it. Short it. <laughs> um, since we're only making lower highs, I would say we continue to make a lower high. We break this daily pivot. Next one would be this next daily pivot at 1618. Good short. But overall, I'd be long in this right now at this exact moment. If you lose this trend line, it's going to zero. Shib. Doesn't look bad, actually. I would be long in this right now. With a very tight stop loss, because if you have any downward um, break, then you lose structure, so... It's kind of a low risk, high reward short, you know? Oh, sorry, low risk, high reward long. I would long this at this exact moment. But I would expect a lower high anyway, so. How good is a long really gonna be? Ah, short it. One inch, same thing. Ave looked to short ninety one seven. Yeah, ninety one five. Daily pivot here, strong volume level. Eight 
80 is you say on this trend line. It's good long like right now. If you're looking to buy it or looking at it right now, it's a good time to put long it. Um, yeah, this actually doesn't look bad because it has a higher high here, but I mean, this could be some consolidation. I would be long this actually right now. ADA looks good. AGLD, ugh, it looks okay. Too bad I already came down and touched this POC from this prior range. What's this algo? Mm, looks okay. Not terrible. I've seen worse. I mean, I wouldn't give this. I wouldn't give this to my friend, but I wouldn't give it to my enemies either. Alice, this coin is probably one of the worst working, worst looking coins if you ever zoom out on it. I mean, look at this. When Bitcoin went sideways, this thing just kept going down. It means it has a lot of upside potential, right? I would avoid that. A and C, awful. Wait for this coin to do some kind of ship pump, like you know, one of these one-time pumps, and then just catch it on a short. It's free money. If you have the money sitting around and you're not using it, I would literally just put a short in like somewhere up here, like nine two three, nine zero something. Yeah, nine zero. Just let it sit there and then one rainy day it'll just, you know, you'll wake up and it'll be hit, it'll be triggered and uh, you'll wake up and you'll be at like 80% in profits, it's already come back down. Anchor, same thing, looks like shit. This was a good short when we shorted it over here though. You know, all the way down, hit our take profits, so. Ape. Just a big descending triangle of death. Doesn't look good. Hi, uh, PI3, same thing. UPT has some decent consolidation right now. But if he loses this, it's game over. Yeah, this POC right at 7.41. Right at this daily pivot. Oh, it's a good buy. 7.42. He's brighter. 4.2. ARPA. Still have this TP long entry down here. Two eight five. Adam, great long anytime. This not touched any of this stuff down here, and it's got so much volume. It's just consolidated this entire area. It's a good buy. Try to get it when it comes back down, though. Somewhere where there's like strong support, like this, where it still makes a higher low relative to this. At thirteen two eight. So this next daily pivot up would be great, 13.4, 13.5, somewhere in there. It depends on if Bitcoin's dumping or not, but right now it's at the uh, value area high, so I wouldn't be buying it right now. Next, audio. Oh, it looks like shit. Nobody's listening to this. AVAX. Looks like shit. Short it. <laughs> Uh-oh, my battery's going low. I mean, this thing's outperformed, um, you know, Bitcoin and stuff, so the market, but still not bullish in any sense, you know, still making lower lows on the macro. Axis looks like shit. Can only have upside from here. Yeah, 
Things going to zero. I mean, look at this. This is like it's how pitiful this is, right? Look at this. Is that a daily right now? Yeah, things going. <laughs> it's true. That's true. <laughs> Damn. BAL looks good. I'd buy this right now. This thing looks bullish. Like it might be consolidating for a breakout here. <laughs> Wait, was that me? Did I say that? Hmm. <sighs> Bands making nobody dance in crypto. Some 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 point I put a buy here at one. Of course, you know I I don't know when that was. Probably a long long time ago. But uh, yeah, it looks like it wicked it twice. Wicked her clean. It's fighting for some upside, but it's just gonna get rejected like always. But if you are looking to trade band, I would look for something like a standard trendline play. So if it does break it, you know, finally goes above it, it'll come back down and retest it, and then eventually it'll just come back down. But It'll find support here, and then that's when, if you if it finds support here at this line, that's maybe where you want to buy it. But I'd look for it to break this trend line first, some kind of upside. Don't be buying it below the trend line. BAT looks like shit. BCH Ugh, looks awful. B and B, man, B and B's had some nice gains, huh? That still looks good. Yeah, I think he's just following Bitcoin. BSV, oh, this looks awful. This looks atrocious. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is up there with some of the worst coins. This is going down to the bottom. Let's go next to best charts ever. C98, this should really be next to it on the best charts ever. This is... This good time to short it. Actually, good time to short would be this 1330 because you're still making a lower high. 330 is good short. Cellophane. It's starting to break out right now, it looks like. Actually, if you really want to scalp this, now would be the time to buy it. Right now. Did it here when it comes back down to this next one, 748? 748 is still a higher low. This thing's consolidating, like it's getting ready to break out. Yeah, I wouldn't do like a full 20x on it, but I mean this thing looks getting ready to break out here.
We have a weekly POC at 798. It'd be a nice level to get at it right before 8. Or at least take profits at. And just be a quick scalp trade. Just maybe do a 20x. I don't know. Seller or celery. <laughs> looks like shit. CHR looks like shit. CG revives another day. I don't know how. I mean, this thing has to be. This thing has to be seen downside soon. I just keep extending this trend line and keeps testing it. Pomp, perma short, cropper, roper looks bad, curve, <laughs> excuse me, looks bad, it's barely holding structure, oh shit, I deleted Cartesi, I mean it's already been deleted from the market, so what's, what's a big deal, Cartesi back. Cortezzi, barely afloat. This thing looks terrible. This is a perma short. Even though my man Rico did bring up a good point about something being unlocked, but that was like last week, right? Yeah, I was thinking about that the entire time, but I mean this thing's a perma short. It's so close to just falling off the face of the earth. It's so close. Its head is barely above water. CVC is a perma short. <laughs> Catch it when it goes back up somewhere. Like 150. And get yourself a free Lambo. Dash. Arm is short. It looks like shit. Yep, shite. Now almost looks like the time to short it just like the other ones. But anyway. Dent, same thing. Doge. Doge still has some good structure here. If it goes to $1, I'll buy you guys all Lambos. Then it's 26. Don't you remember? We, we counted yesterday. 7, 8. You went faster. about this one. Well, I'm just looks like Yeah, I don't know about this. I wouldn't be long. <laughs> I'm not saying it looks good or bad, I'm just not sure. Just kind of like, the open interest going up, volume just kind of... I mean, it has bullish structure right now, so if you are going to do anything good... Could... 
see if it makes a higher high here. I wouldn't be longing it at this exact moment because you're still you're at a local high, right? Something like this, right? Yeah, I mean, it's still making lower highs, so. And you write a, write a weekly POC right here. So, I would wait to see if it breaks above this 131. Dot. Oh, this is gonna be a good short soon. Not yet. It still has really good structure. This still looks bullish. But I'd look for an SFP first. We're to lose this level right here. It's 5-1. Either long at 6-5-1 or for it to break that and then catch it when it comes back up and short it. You trade SFPs. Dusk. Looks like everything else. Kind of interesting though. It's been sideways for a while. And I just look at Bitcoin. Dicks. Dicks looks like ass. EGLD looks interesting. Very interesting. Bang, bang. This thing's underperformed the market over the last month though. But this looks like really good structure since beginning of October. This is a watcher. Engine looks like shit. ENS, my homeboy. ENS always a good long. ENS is great. So, I don't know if the disc, I know you guys can't hear the Discord in the stream, but I would call this a generational bottom. <laughs> Rico. <laughs> You know, I don't know why it just came to me stream, you know, generational bottom, you know, once in a generation here. Just kidding, I'm just kidding. My man Rico in the Discord, that's his quote. Here, what did you call it, Rico? Uh, generational bottom. There, I unmuted just for that, just for that term, generational bottom, so they all heard generational bottom. I'm just, I'm only monetizing that one second. Your quote, that sound clip's going on t-shirts. All right, so we're at a generational bottom. Next is EOS, looks like shit, short this shit. Doesn't look, doesn't look terrible. Looks better than some of the other ones, though. ETC. Hmm, not a generational bottom. Filecoin, short this, burn it. Don't even give it to your enemies. Flow, looks like shit. FTM, looks okay. It says good structure, just kind of like lagging right now. Looks like a. Just kind of here, you know, it's just kind of putting up with it. Gala looks like shit. This is a rising wedge, short it. Not yet, but short it like next time it comes up, like. See, I don't know if you want to be shorting it at this at four or five. You should be shorting at a higher local high, right? So. 
does come back up like four, three, seven, maybe there. But at this exact moment, the moment we're talking, I would be long in this right here. This trend line. We're out of support almost. I'm not going to. Gal looks like shit. I'm gonna go get it. DMT. Yeah, short up here. 6222. 6246. DRT. Shit. H bar. H bar is clinging on for life. That's right. If you guys just remember, you can quote me on this. G and H coins are bearish. Okay. Always have been, always will be. Don't buy any coins that begin with a G or an H. H bars barely hang on for life. Barely. You can say I, uh, ICP looks like shit, but IMX and INJ are my homeboys. INJ, great buy. I've been saying this since the summer. You know, this is a generational coin right here. INJ is a generational coin. Buy INJ when it comes back down. Something like 2.2. .2. IMX is falling off, unfortunately. IOST. Mm, terrible. IOTX. <laughs> IOTX. It's holding. AST. Damn, the trend lines hate this level. Jeez. Kava looks like shit. Looks terrible, actually. KCS looks great. KTA, KDA. I mean, this is like one true upside right here. It's a good time to short, you know. Right now, 5x, 3x, something like that. Play. So, this thing has had its moment, you know. This thing's due for another short. Due for a short, you know, if you really zoom out on it. I mean, look at this. Terrible. And this, you know, little blip here. Just gonna be another blip like this. You know, like this, like this. This, just, you know, it's moment when it pumps temporarily. And then it always comes back down, right? So that's all this will be. You know, don't get stopped out by volatility um, by doing too much leverage. So just use lower leverage, three or five X and hop in. Shout out to Moonwalker for my favorite quotes on here. You say tongue in the hole or tongue in the homies, right? Classic. The only reason I look at this chart now. KSM, it's already breaking structure. This thing's pre-dumping. It's pre-dumping. Oh my gosh, this thing looks terrible. This thing's getting ready to fall. It's getting ready to fall off a cliff. Look at this. It's barely, this thing's about to fall. I'd say give it two minutes, three minutes. Are these, are these wicks real? I mean, it's Binance. So I know it's a shit, shit exchange, shit charts, but. This, um, these wicks have to be real, right? Because it just wicked all the buy orders from down here. So it already dumped once. All the buy orders filled and came back up. It tried to dump again. Oh, man, this thing looks terrible. Link. I mean, it has bullish structure, right? It's making higher lows and whatnot, so. Hmm. 
Put it on its back. Oh yeah, for Link, Link has good bullet structure right now. I mean, if you really are running along this, you might be able to scalp it, like, you know, right now, where it's kind of making a higher low, but if it breaks this uh, area right here, then get the GTFO. That's an SFP, a swing failure pattern right here. So you definitely do not want to be losing this level 765. Lit. It's also barely hanging on for long. Is this still another lower low? Yeah. We'll skip look. <laughs> Wait, what, Rico? What are you gonna say? Oh, I thought you were gonna talk about looks. The looks. Looks like shit. Next, LRC. So, I mean, this is at this god tier trend line that I got up this morning and drew at like 4 in the morning, so. Um, yeah, short of this trend line. Litecoin. What is there to be said? Luna. I mean, just, just lingering, you know? It's just lingering. Ugh. If anything, because this thing is consolidating right now, I would I would actually long something like this. It looks like this. I already wicked down though, but I'd long it like somewhere down here and just see what happens. You know, because I mean, yeah. you know, this structure I would, you know, because this is some okay validation. It's tough to say to long because I know it's just going down to zero. Long. I would long right now. You know, because yeah, I would long right now. Um, yeah, because if you lose this, you know, end line, that's game over, going to zero. So it's high risk, low reward, or <laughs> that's the opposite. <laughs> it's, uh, <coughs> low risk, potential high reward. Mana. Void the metaverse. Matic. Matic, uh, you know, it comes back down here. Eight zero eight one. I'm not trading that. Mirror, this is another one like anchor where you just avoid it, but you put in a, a short order somewhere up here, like two, three, seven, like five X, and then you wake up one day when it hits overnight from one of these massive wicks, and you're up like 800%. Maker. This is one of the other worst coins I've seen besides Filecoin. It looks terrible. Void. Near. Yeah, avoid the, oops, avoid the metaverse. That's some good bullish consolidation here. Really want you could try to buy it when it comes down to makes a higher low. thing about this coin is that if you do have um, breaks to the upside, it's not stopping until it gets to like 3, 4, or 3. So this is a good long here. This is probably a good long here. Get your free money at 3, 4, 3, 4, 3. Neo, so much promise, so little deliver.
I'm not even gonna say anything. NFT coin. NFT coin looks interesting. It does look like it's kind of forming um a shitter, so short it. NYM. Bear, this coin's holding on for dear life. Holding on for dear life here. I mean, barely holding on. Catch this one when it goes back up. Catch me outside. Ocean looks really bearish. OGN looks even more bearish. OMG, just as bearish as the last one. One. Temporary upside here. This thing is starting to actually get bullish structure on the, on the short term, right? We're making higher lows, higher highs. So it's not a bad long, if you can find a good place to long it when it comes down. Like the local longs, like 190. I do want to be longing this though, I mean look at this. It's really underperforming the market. Minus 3 or something. ONT. Yeah, I want to just short it. 227, that's in the weekly POC here, this orange line. 227, 228, somewhere in here, and you're still making a lower high. OP. You have a previous range POC up in here. Problem is, this thing already revisited this trend line though. So it needs to come down. Maybe to revisit the trend line, <laughs> you can catch it up there. Or it comes back down. People! One of my favorite coins. America. Catch it down here at this line I drew. 1445. Perp it only has upside to it right now. It's a big descending triangle of death right here. But once it makes a higher low, then get in like this, see? Is this a higher low? Maybe. But get in, once it, if it comes back down and makes a higher low, then get in. Quantum, whatever, it looks like everything else looks like shit. Ren. This thing's had some temporary upside, looks like everything else, you know, shorted up here, it's making a lower high. All these are good shorts. Reindeer coin. It actually looks bullish just making higher eyes. Right? There's a good possible scalp here. Because it still has bullish structure, right? But at this exact moment, at this very moment, I would be looking to get it as long as it stays above this level right here. 585. The next day they pivot down is the one attack currently at right now. So 5992. But not a bad long here, it just made a higher high. Making higher lows, good long. And it's had some downside today, so, you know, kind of cooled off a little bit. Yeah. Rose, ugh, nothing pretty about this. Reserved rights, should go with JST for justice. Yeah, this has some decent consolidation right now. It's held up well. I mean, it's kind of here. I would catch it when it comes back down to the VAL. This is 575. Rune. And it's barely hanging out for life. Uh, not much to say. Haven coin, same thing. Looks like a. Same thing. You don't want to be losing this trend line. I mean, not a bad long, you know, I would long this right now, at this exact time. Because it's, you know, high potential reward, low risk, you know, because you put a stop loss right below this, this trend line. Sand, avoid the meta. Shib, let's look for a good short entry. We're up here. 
this exact moment, just like we said last time, is if it's sitting on support on this trend line, you know, look for a long, but I mean, anytime these things just go straight vertical, they're going to come right back down and see every time. Nothing I could say about SLP to make it all better. SNX. I think Unlimited used to trade this coin, right? The gray short at 298. 298, 296. Previous range volume area, and there's not that much volume in between. Yeah, that's a good short. 296, 297, 3.0. 3.0 is an awesome short. So, just kind of here, it's like, I'd almost say about it. So, uh, same thing. Serm, the drink from Futurama. Looks like shit. Storage. Has some temporary upside, that means it's a great short target. Sushi. Sushi's one of the other coins that looks like absolute garbage. You know, right now it, it would be a good, you know, better long it to make a. Oh no, we just SFP. It actually just broke this. So, thing is has air structure now. Yeah, if you lose this level, it's got bear structure now. One six. SXP looks just as bad as the others. Looks like it's another rising wedge as well. Theta. Then look for a short. TLM, avoid the metaverse. TRB. And this thing, I'm just waiting for this to return down here to 10.9, 11. It's gonna be a good long. It's gonna be a nice wick, you know? TRX. I'm gonna use to trade this one a lot too. This thing's gonna have another strong look like this um, when it gets down to this range because it hasn't been down here since the 29th and it was didn't touch it so somewhere in here 5772 this is a great buy area. Moon fee. I'd get it when it comes lower. Mooney, whatever, VET, whatever, looks the same, Vra, looks the same, Waves always bullish, Wax P, this is something you can give away to your enemies, Woo, this thing had its upside, it's just gonna slowly come down from here, mark my words, so, this thing, everyone's going to forget about it soon, okay? So it'll probably come down, and it's going to lose its structure soon. Unless there's some, like, a ne like news or something about this coin I don't know about. But eventually this is what's going to happen, see? Yeah, it's just losing its structure, right? Maybe you could say this is some kind of bull flag in here, but maybe... Maybe this is a bull flag. Oh, looks like it, right? Anyway, for the bull flag though, you need to break out from this trend line here, this top one, okay? So, and most likely it's going to make a higher low, which I actually maybe just did. But I don't think this is a bull flag. It looks, it could be a bull flag, right? It looks just like one, smells like one, shits like one. But without the bull flag pattern here what I think what usually happens in these coins is when they have their upside like this everyone just kind of forgets about them and they slowly just come down right 
So I would expect this one to just slowly come back down as everyone just forgets about it. You know, it's had its moment in the, in the sun kind of thing, you know? It wooed us. XCN, great short. Hop in a short right now. Stop what you're doing. You know, go wake up your kids. Go wake up your wife and short XCN. Great short, great short. Free money. XCM, great chart, great coin, great short. XLM, mm. holding, you know, I mean, you could buy it here and, you know, not bad. I would, I would be literally be talking down here though. Oh, too bad I just worked this POC on October 21st. Then yeah, you wouldn't be looking down here then. 19th. Now we'll be looking down here, more like this. 1046. 1037. See how it's responded to 1, right? So if we look at this level right here, 1. You can see how it's responded to one over time, right? So the psych level one, there's a daily pivot here. So look at that, it's responded quite well to one. Here, a little bit above one. All these are a little bit above one, like one zero one four, you know? So yeah, I would be looking for one. I would just be patient and look for something like around one. Put in like two or three buy orders, you know, like, you know, 10, 18, something like this, or 10, 28. Like right here, you know, <laughs> excuse me. So that's still a higher low compared to this over here, because this over here was 1015, right? So something that's a little higher low. And then like one. And you know, it'll come down and wick that and come back up. Oh, it says XEM. Yeah, what about XEM? That's a fair XMR or XLM. So XMR is another coin that Unlimited really likes. And this coin actually looks really good. Looks better than some of the other ones. It's held up quite well. But again, you haven't been below this level 133 since July 17th. So these are going to be strong levels here. Below 133. Strong levels below 133. So it's going to be tough to break though below 133 because of all this, you know, consolidation we've had here, right? Yeah, it's gonna be really tough to break below one one thirty three. Yeah, I'd get this at the VAL like right here, like one thirty nine. We were last here on the twenty second, so about a week ago. Yeah. XRP is holding okay, you know. Because of all the news and all the hype around this coin and all the people that are buying it, which you can actually see, you know. I mean, damn, this thing's really underperforming the market, though, badly over the last month. Oof. You wouldn't even know it by looking at the coin, by looking at the chart, because of how much upside I had during September, right? But it has not performed well in October. Not at all. Oh, well, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it then. XCZ. I mean whatever. Why if I post along in uh Discord the other day, I think it was sixty six forty four. Hasn't been down here since July 26, and that's its normal price range down here before this vertical pump. YGG, oh, avoid Zek. Again, avoid, and I think it just made bear structure too. Fuck, this looks terrible. That a higher high, but then it made a lower low. That's crypto. And Zill, same thing. Except it's more bearish than Zek, so it has lower highs and lower lows, so this is probably a good short. 
All right, I think that's it. A through Z. Me just saying every coin looks like shit and destroyed it. Um, all right, any, uh, anybody in the Discord have any TA requests or, uh, or anyone out there? DXY? Yep, exactly. Diggs looks like ass. So this looks like a uh, classic camel pattern here. So you can see that like, I'll show you. So these are like, so these are like the legs, but the knees, right? So this is the knee where the camel's trying to like get down on the ground, right? So it's standing on its back legs, but then it's starting to go down on its front legs, right? So these are the knees. It's kind of bending. This is his head right here, right? Oh, that looks like a turtle head. Like the, the head, right? Okay. And then these are like the three humps here. Oh, just think about it like this is the sand, right? So it's starting to like go down, you know. It's standing on its back legs, but the front is kind of like kneeling down because it's going to start going down, right? So this is why I think about why is that it's going to be going down in the sand. You should always avoid meta coins. Alright, that TA is going to cost you. Um, twenty four sixty nine. Let's say donate to charity, but that would be mean. Charity should be charitable. I mean, this thing just broke its structure. You know, I mean, it's. I mean, SFP here looks terrible. I mean, it's making lower, lower highs the entire time. I mean, it's starting to come down right now. I mean, it looks awful. I'd buy some Turkish lira if anything. Hey, uh, Rising Sun, I did everything from A to Z, so you could just rewind. Um, For any coins. But I will check up on these pink ones. These pink ones I was interested in. I'm gonna mark these about where they were when I set them, like cello wrap or cellophane or whatever. <laughs> 